Hello, Paul Hamilton here. We've been doing lots of great tutorials, really basic ones on how to move and apply physics to our shapes. Today, we're gonna to select a vertical. So this is gonna be on a wall, so it'll be on a vertical plane. And you can see here it comes up. We might just leave that there, I think, at the start, just so that we don't need to get rid of it. And what we're gonna to do today is have a look at collisions, how two things kind of interact with each other and how we can start to create this kind of marble run game that we're going to create. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a shape and we're gonna add, add our cube here. And we've gone through the tutorial about how to move around the scene with our two fingers and how to raise things. And what we're basically gonna do there on that cube is we're gonna change the properties of it. So let's see what the width does. Oh, yep, we need a longer thing here. We also need some depth. No, not that one. Let's go height. Yep, that's the one we want. And we're just gonna make a plane. So we might make that depth a little bit less and we don't need that as much. So what we've got there is, you can see there, let's make that a different color just so that you can see. Hopefully you can see, I might make it black just so that you can see like a rubber. Okay, so we've got this kind of plank if you like and we're gonna put a ball on top of it and see how it reacts. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna tap it once and we'll just with the green slightly rotate. Now, do you see it jumps there to 15 degrees? That can be a bit annoying. You might not want that. So up the top there, there's a little magnet. That's our snapping. If we turn that off, now you can see that we've got a much more detailed and accurate incline and decline. So let's leave it there, but I'm also gonna turn my snapping back on as well, because I think it's always good and handy to have. Okay, now we need to say that plank, what do we want it to do in regard to physics? So we're gonna turn it on. We want physics applied. We actually want the ball to interact with it. But what we don't want is it dynamic. I don't want it falling off the ledge. So we're gonna leave that as fixed, okay? Now we're gonna bring in, let's just bring in for this one, we'll bring in a ball. Now you could bring in some other things as well, like tennis balls, baseballs and so forth. I'm just gonna bring in a sphere. I'm gonna move that across. We'll raise it up a little bit. And this is the start of our marble run. So we've got our ball. We want to apply some physics to our ball that allows it to drop and collide. Now, to do that, I'm on the ball. Let's change the color of it, make it plastic. Let's turn on our physics. What do we want our ball to be? Well, I just actually want it to, concrete's fine for now because I don't actually want it bouncing around too much. That can be annoying, but I, I can fix that later on. And we want to turn that from fixed to dynamic. Now, whenever we do anything in coding or reality compose or designing things, we always need to test and see if it works because if it doesn't work, that's the best learning opportunity that we have. So I'm gonna press play at the top. Let's see how this goes. Oh, that is absolutely perfect. I've got really good interaction with my plank and my ball just by applying a fixed physics and a dynamic to it. Okay, so that's fantastic. And you can start to play around with materials. And don't forget, that when you copy or duplicate a plank like that, it also duplicates the physics. So that's gonna really cut down on time a little bit when we start to actually do some different things there in regard to our plank. And you can see here, if I start to interact with some different things here, hopefully we get the collisions on both and so forth. And that's the start of our marble run and that will look great. So that's a little bit about physics, collisions and how to objects can interact with each other. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.